and welcome to The Doe Show for Monday, July 30th, 2018. I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm Bambi Dextrous. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to finally be here. It's really great to have you. <laughs> Thank you for finally clearing space in your schedule to make it. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, it was actually a very busy week for us putting up videos. Uh, we got some footage from a uh, previous week's event in Calgary, and there was a bunch of shows here at Edmonton, so uh, let's dive right into it. Um, our, our friend Michael was actually in Calgary on, on July 22nd and filmed the Twisted Follies at Twisted Element, uh, always hosted by Mr. Terry Stevens, and this time co-hosted by Lil, Lil Fair. Fair. And, and they had... Alberta Drake Superstar winners from the last three years. No it, big deal, right? <laughs> no big deal. It, only the first time all of them have performed together. Now it was Calgary, so let's say it was right. Let's say it right. It A was four A N D S winners. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was it was Lilith Fair, Davina Die For, and of course the reigning king. Duke Carson. Yep. And they all performed with Terry with a fantastic number Who is of love a legend, shack, a legend in her own, right? So no big deal. Yeah, like that's a stellar cast. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was it was a fun number when they did Love Shack together and That uh, was a really fun number. It was. And the one highlight for me that I really loved was a number that I don't think I've ever seen Lilith do before was the joy of painting. The joy of painting. It was absolutely hilarious. I check it out. I mean I'm a fan, but yeah. Anyway, yes. Joy of Painting. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and uh, if you look closely, you may recognize the painting from previous videos. <laughs> um, but yeah, so thank you to New Dad Michael for actually getting us that footage. Uh, it was great. Um, we look forward to working with you more in the future. Um, now let's get to the stuff that we actually filmed this past weekend in Edmonton. On Friday night at Evolution Wonder Lounge, the Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose, ISCWR, put on their annual event for the Entertainer of the Year. Yes. Um, hosted by this year's Entertainer of the Year, Morgan Fair, and uh, her mother and previous, previous multiple winner, winner of, multiple time winner of, of Entertainer of the Year, and I think maybe an Entertainer of the Decade in there too, I'm not sure. Um, if she hasn't, she probably will be. Um, Anyway, Vanity Fair was also co-hosting with her, and it was a fantastic show. Um, they had apparently put out to all the previous entertainers of the year that they could get a hold of to oh, see yeah. who wanted to come out and, and to perform. Mm -hmm. And it was great to see Morgan and Vanity there. Um, they did fill the show with all kinds of fabulous performers. Uh, Davina Dyfor was there, Ivy League, yeah, um, Ivy League Bianca Lovegood, uh, Trailer Park Trash. He brought out a good number as well. It was really good. Uh, Kenya was there. Mm -hmm. And then um, they also did the three candidates for uh, Emperor and Empress this year for Reign 43 for the ISCWR. So we got to see performances from David Dragon, nice. who's the only person running for Emperor. Emperor. And then we got to see a uh, performance from both of the candidates for Empress. Oh, nice. So no we Vagina. Saw Ruby, uh, we, saw we saw Ruby Nobody. We saw No Vagina and we saw Morgan Fair. Uh, so yeah, it was... It was I a, don't know why I thought Ruby was running for Empress again. Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe you were just confusing the whole Kenya thing because Kenya was part Ruby and everything. Yes, we'll, that, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Anyway, later on. Entertainer of the Year show was was a was a fun night. So do check out all the videos on Dragging Your Heels. They are up and ready for your viewing pleasure. Um, Saturday night we were pulling double duty. Uh, yes. Bambi and I were actually at the uh, Central Social Hall. Um, for to, Fruit Loop. For Fruit Loop Summer Jam. Yeah, Summer uh, Jam. Uh, Fitzy uh, was hosting. Was hosting, and he actually contacted us and said, like, hey, do you guys want to, like, come to film Fruit Loop? And mm -hmm. we'd never been asked before <laughs> and stuff, so we were just like, hey, we'll come check I it out. I think you had made it out to one Fruit Loop. I had gone one. once just on my own years ago mm -hmm. with Tierra Manila really? was performing. Um, and she had worked it out that I would come and film her, and I think Roselle might have been there that night too. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, it was at the. But you had been before. I had been I to had one. Never been to I had been to one, and I think there's footage on on the channel. My first time. Um, but yeah, it was it was it was a fun little event. Um, it's amazing that there's that many people that I don't know in our community. That was the other part that kind of amazed me about the night. But um, uh, performers. Performers. Uh, yes, there was. Um, 
a burlesque performer, Myla Mustang, Mayla yep. Mustang. Mayla uh, Mustang, because maybe Mayla Mustang to me. Oh, That's maybe. what I thought. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Uh, but yeah, um, she's gorgeous and, and put on a fantastic number. Um, you Are My Sunshine, I think she did. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah it, was, it was really, really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and it was an interesting kind of thing because they did some of the performances outside on the balcony and the patio and some inside on the dance floor yeah. and around. And we had a little bit of trouble keeping mm -hmm. up and that's why we actually don't have numbers from Andrew Ginny um, because it was happening on the patio and there was such a crush of people I couldn't get out there to film. So we do apologize to Andrew that we didn't catch your number. But we do have, as we say, Myla and we do have, or Mela, uh, we do have um, Indigo, Indigo did a great number and, and Plastica stomped and the house Plastica. down boots all over that place. So, yeah, the death drops, and yes. jumping from the tables. Oh. Yeah, all over the place. Girl. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, check out those videos there. Um, also on the channel, and uh, yeah, enjoy. It was it was a fun little night. Yes. Um, across town, our mm -hmm. girl Sky was actually at this month's version of Hail, Hail Mary and Have, Have Mercy. Mercy at the Have Mercy Southern Table and Bar. That's it. That's it. And in this week's show, there was Morgan Fair. Morgan Fair. Lady Tenflake. Lady Lake. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> Hosted as always by Sister Mary Clarence, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, they uh, had a great time. I was talking to Lady Tenderflake, and they had a really good time. And the crowd was eating it up, and I was checking out the videos. It looked like everybody was having a good time. Yeah, so yeah, videos looked like everyone was having fun, yeah. enjoying the show. So congrats again, to Mary, on yet another fantastic show, and uh, thank you, Sky, as always, for being out there and being our intrepid videographer in that in that building. So uh, yeah. Truly, truly, thank you. So check those out. Um, we had one more event this weekend. Um, as always, we were at Evolution Wonder Lounge for the Sunday Review. Review. <laughs> um, this Review. one was Nova's Fractured Fairy Tales. And fractured it was. It was fractured. There were no fairs in it for a fairy tale show, but I'll leave it at that. Um, hosted by No Vagina. Uh, and yeah, it was a it was a fun little silly little show. Yeah, um, it was it everyone was, that's there seemed to have a really good time, and it was fun, and the audience was very receptive. Was to us very before. receptive. It was a, it was a very virgin crowd. Um, there was a lot of. I think there was a bachelorette party. There was a few bachelorette parties, and they're always front row. They're always really good for a show for the energy and for yeah. the uh, vocalizations. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there was definitely a lot of support in the audience and stuff like that. So that was really great to see. Yes, um, lots of they had they had a really good time, and yes. that's all that matters. Um, you performed twice. Yeah. Um, did yeah. Elsa? I did Elsa. Um, avoided the Madonna um, copyright, but uh, yeah, we also got Frozen in there, <laughs> which I love. Um, yeah, it was a neat little version. Um, and uh, Gigi did a couple of songs. Yeah, she Gigi did, did uh, Lion King, <laughs> The Circle of Life. The Circle of Life. <laughs> yeah, some realness. Uh -huh. And then I was living, living for Snow White. Like, that is such a classic Canadian rock see, song. And, and like, oh, I was just you see, dying. I, I bet Christy Healy was about the only other one in that place that was just, actually, no, The, bach the, the Bachelorette. The woman oh, was, the back they door. were living for that because they were about my zone too. See, and I had no idea yeah. about that song. It was completely over my head. <laughs> -da -da -da, -da 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 -da. Fun, fun. Uh, but yeah, it was killer. Uh, Kenya filled in for Ruby Hyman. Ruby Hyman. He's still really not doing too well. So Ruby, love you, girl. Um, but yeah, so she Kenya, Kenya Hyman. I kind of like that. I kind of like Kenya, Kenya Hyman. Hyman. I like Ruby. Do it. Yeah. Um, it. But yeah, so yeah, she actually Kenya did Ruby's full me. number. Like yeah. and it was, it was, it was so good to see. And actually, she did a really good job. Yeah. And as we like to joke, she even knew some of the words. <laughs> Most of the words. Most of the words. Well, she said outside herself that she didn't know too many of them. Okay. <laughs> she said, okay. She said, she said, but I still gonna know more than Ruby. Uh huh. Uh, creme brulee performed. Yes. Not the brulee. house boots. Creme Brulee was a surprise because we had a couple of dropouts in this show in the cast. So Creme Brulee was one of the ones brought in and absolutely killed it. Absolutely killed the floor with your dance moves. Yeah, you can barely see the dance floor. It's covered in so many fives. Uh, yeah, it was crazy. Uh, great job. Um, mm -hmm. Firecracker. 
Yes. Um, I, I look forward to seeing um, more thought out numbers in the future kind of thing. Uh, but I mean, you have the movement. But yeah, the, the movement's moves. down. So yes. love it. Uh, Shayla Zon LaRue did a couple of numbers, I think, or just the one. Just hair. the one. She uh, did it was hair. so good. So yes. good. Uh, I love Shayla Zon. Yeah. Uh, totally. Pheromone Kills came out and killed it, as usual. And, oh, Ripple Rouge. Yeah. You are just, oh, you're stunning. You are just, you are, you are sex on wheels. You are just. On Wonderful wheels. to watch. I don't know. On wheels. I don't on wheels. wheels. Uh, you're just, you're gorgeous. And, and, and the way you move is just entrancing. Uh, both numbers were fabulous. And I, anyway, love you. Congrats. Awesome. Anyway, that is all the footage that we had that we just uploaded. So you should be checking those out very soon. Um, but first, we want to tell you what we've got coming up this weekend. This August long weekend, we've got shows for you covering in Edmonton and at Pine Trails Getaway. Um, Friday, August 3rd, the Summer Student Showcase. We are 90% sure we're filming this event. <laughs> we're not 100%. We're so, just waiting on confirmation. Yeah, so we're hoping, we're hoping to have footage from that coming to you yeah. soon. And that's hoping uh, to be filmed by Miss Indecisive. Um, Saturday, August 4th, show us your newbies. Audrodacity is hosting, featuring Ruby Ray, mm -hmm. and Miss Sky will be there to film, so we are excited about that. Uh, Sunday, August 5th, Legendary Long Weekend, hosted by Vanity Fair, and Godiva, and Tequila, and Vanity, and Twiggy, and did I say Vanity enough times, and Roselle Christina. Yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be a really good show. That's going to so be a star-studded show it, as it, well. It's a fabulous show, and it killed us last year to not be there, and it's, yeah, it's sad we're not going to be there this year either for yes. it, but thank goodness someone will be there to film it, and that will be Miss Indecisive. A minor quick little tidbit. Yeah. Last year, the legendary show, yeah. there was a Stiletto Award nominee number of oh. that show. It's true. There was a uh, show. Tell me why. Heaven I so, just heard from you. Last why year. Heaven I heard from you. Was it? So, last year, <laughs> this show was award nominated for their number, so you don't want to miss it. Exactly. Could be a really good show. Well, it will be a really good show with that cast. Um, we are going to be at Pine Trails Getaway, putting on Back Into the Woods. Uh, we return for our second year. It's mm -hmm. going to be really fun. We're looking yeah. forward to it. Uh, most of the cast is back. Uh, Bambi's going to be there. I'm going to be there. Lady Tenderflake's going to be there. Chris, Chris Healy's going to be there. Um, um, we may right. have Melinda Verga. We're not we promising may. anything. We she, are she's coming. In. Whether she decides to throw on a dress is up to her. Decides. No pressure. We are bringing in no vagina. No vagina. Um, and we also may be including Teen Jesus Barbie this year. Teen Jesus Just Barbie. Just added. Um, it's so yeah, possible. It's possible. Again, happens to be there this weekend, and, and uh, I, I told the bitch to bring a dress. So <laughs> yeah. we're, we're hoping to maybe get a number or two from Teen Jesus Barbie. That's Little right. town. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, but yeah, that's it's gonna be a fabulous weekend for drag all over. So, and I, I guarantee you, there's events in Calgary or wherever you're watching this from. I bet there's local events that you could be out at this weekend. So go check them out. Yeah. All right. Okay. Picks of the week. I'll go first. My pick of the week is Lilith Fair: The Joy of Painting. It's yeah. So good. It was really good. It's and, so good. Yeah. And it's it's the it's the perfection of simpleness. Like she walks on stage, she sits on a stool, she lip syncs to her own voice, mm -hmm. and completely and utterly captures the audience's attention for three minutes. Like, it's not death drops, it's, it's not, not choreography. It's not hashtag choreographies. <laughs> it's not it's just simple yeah. but it's so funny like it's anyway i'm what's, a bit of a fan what's your pick of the week um honestly it was very close to being the joy of painting so i'm very happy to see that <laughs> you had actually picked it uh but yeah i i have to go with with grandma um the uh the history repeating like i just i love that song by the propeller heads and and Again, with Miss Dame Shirley Bassey and everything else, ah. like it's just, it's a killer song. And Vanity yeah. just sparkles and it's just she amazing. Sparkles. 
She sparkles. <laughs> and again, like you had me at the song, but then it, you know, your usual fabulous self. Done. Yeah. <laughs> Pick of the week. Um, Sky said anything Bambi. Yeah. So that was nice of her. <laughs> I think she's just sucking up to the boss. I think so too. But you know, we don't pay her, so I don't really know what she thinks she's getting out of this. But whatever. Um, and uh, and and Brayden is alive. <laughs> <laughs> that was the response we got. So uh, yeah, those are our picks of the week. Uh, watch those, but don't just watch those. Watch all the videos. Make your own choices, and feel free yes. to comment below what your pick of the week is, because I'd actually like to know. Um, I think that's really about it. I think that's it. Lots coming your way, um, so please stay tuned. Um, like, share, subscribe, do all those things. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. It's so nice to finally meet you. <laughs> I had such a blast on your show. Oh my god, thank you so much for finally being here.